Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I am Anish and today we will discuss the most important core topics for electrical branch. Okay, so I think many of you guys are preparing for gate 2025 and what will happen towards the end, right? You may not be able to complete your syllabus because you have to go to your college or you may have some other commitments. So I will tell you the best method to prepare for the next three months for the core subjects because obviously during the starting of your preparation, you are preparing the common subjects now the core subjects will be left okay so obviously a quick disclaimer i will give if you are preparing for under 100 rank or under like a double digit rank right so obviously skipping anything won't be good you have to study everything but out of the all the topics which ones are the most important ones which ones you should not skip if you are crunch on time that i will say in this video okay so uh, let's start with EMFT. Generally, the average weightage of EMFT is around 2 to 3 marks. So I will say average weightage of EMFT is 2 to 3 marks. So you should not skip this obviously. What you can do is, uh, EMFT has 3 topics, electrostatics, magnetostatics and time varying fields. Now from our 11th and 12th, we have already studied electrostatics and magnetostatics. And uh, I have seen the trend is the question from electrostatics do come generally okay these two topics may not come the questions so what you can do is you just study this topic and this topic won't take you much time to study because this base is already strong from your basic physics right class 11 and 12 so you prepare this topic okay and other ones you can skip obviously if you want to uh, score uh, like a score a rank like a rank uh, get a rank under 100 you have to study everything just for those students who are struggling struggling right now and who want a bit of guidance regarding which sub uh, which topics they should not skip next let's come to the electrical machines unfortunately here i i can't say can you skip any topic because all four are important all the four topics are important dc machines transformers industrial machines and synchronous machines its average weightage right its average weightage is around 10 marks okay 10 to 12 marks generally it varies so here what i felt when i was preparing was the dc machines right are very easy okay so what you can do from the dc machines you obviously give priority i will i will write down the priority number which one you should prioritize dc machines is actually pretty easy do the numericals okay practice more and more numericals on dc machines they are actually pretty simple and easy okay if you know the basics okay theory part you can skip Sometimes question do come from theory as well, but mainly if you are comfortable with the numericals of DC machine, you will be able to answer all the questions from the DC machine's topic. Next is transformer. Next priority you give transformer. What you can do is you can skip the uh, three phase transformer. So generally the uh, length, right? DC machines is easiest and you should finish it. You should start it first and you should finish it. Then you can. Uh, like study transformer and after studying transformer you can study induction machine okay and these two actually are like the length right Le like how much time it will take you to cover these two subjects are similar okay length are similar just hold on yeah length are similar okay so from here what i will recommend is you study the transformer single phase transformer you can skip the skip the three phase transformer okay because that is a bit difficult and that takes a lot of time for you to understand a question can come obviously from it but if you skip it right you can give that time to some other subject okay you can skip the three phase transformer And induction machine you cover everything try to cover the numericals as well next from synchronous machines what i felt was it is difficult okay so you you cannot skip anything okay it is difficult from what i felt so this is the fourth priority you do you cannot skip everything but if you like at max want to skip anything right at max if you want to skip anything you can skip this synchronous machines portion okay but i will not recommend skipping anything from the machines but if you want to skip you can skip synchronous machines and obviously the three phase transformer next come to power electronics again power electronics everything is important but from the semiconductor switches right theory there are a lot of theories but that is not that important mm, the most important portion from the semiconductor switches is scr scr numericals is the most important and obviously you study in this order only whatever order i have written you study in this order okay and next you can do the 
uh, rectifiers. You can completely study the single phase rectifiers, three phase rectifiers that are sometimes difficult. Okay, and you cover the source inductance as well. Source inductance. I have a surprise for you as well. Just hold on a second here. Source inductance for this from here. So this is the most important topic from rectifier single phase control rectifiers and source in with source inductance. Okay, three phase rectifier you can skip if it feels tough to you. Then you give priority to choppers. Right, whatever written whatever is written you give priority to choppers. I forgot to tell you the average marks. This also has average of ten to twelve marks. Okay. This also has average to 10 to 12 marks. Next chopper, chopper. I will recommend you to cover everything. Chopper. I will recommend you to cover everything. And inverters. The most important uh, portion of inverter. I will tell you that. That is basically the voltage source inverter. From the inverters, you cover the voltage source inverter. Whatever is there from the voltage source inverter. That is single phase, full bridge, half bridge voltage source inverter. Then there is uh, basically pulse with modulation. So these two main topics are very very important. You try to finish this current source current source inverter is not that important. You can skip it. Okay. So this is the priority. And out of these four chapters, what which is which uh, what are the most important ones that also I have explained. But if you have studied from me, right? So you won't find anything difficult because uh, I have seen many students if they study three phase from other educators, they find the concepts difficult. But uh, I have launched my course, so you can visit our website. All the links will be present in the comments below. You can visit there. And currently, heavy discount is running on our course. You can get the course under thousand rupees. Under thousand rupees, you can get the course. So if you study from me, right? So I have taken only sixty hours, and inside those sixty hours, you will be able to gain complete ten marks. You don't need to skip anything if you are studying from me because I have taught in that lucid manner. Okay, you don't have to worry. Okay, everything will be easy and simple for you. So from if you're studying from me, you can cover everything. But if you're studying from somewhere else, right? Uh, these parts, the part that I mentioned, other than this, can be a bit difficult. So you can skip those parts. Okay. So yeah, next is power system. So power system is actually pretty big. There is PSA one and there is PSA two. And power system like the core subjects weightage is almost same, ten to twelve marks only. These are the heavy E core subjects, right? So here again, what I would recommend, you can uh, skip the PSA one and you can do the PSA two. But inside PSA one also, there are few topics you should not skip. Okay, so what are the topics? So this parameters and performance of transmission line, right? They are actually pretty important. Okay, they are actually pretty important. So uh, this right, this is actually comes under this transmission transmission only. Okay, transmission. So I will uh, rate uh, rate the topics. So this is actually pretty important. So I will recommend you to study this topic. Then compensation techniques is actually pretty easy. Okay, compensation techniques is pretty easy, so you don't skip it. You study it, and from the parameters and performance of transmission line, you study for the long transmission line. Okay, long transmission line. You can skip the other short and medium transmission line because mainly uh, the numericals that will come that will be mainly for the long transmission line. Okay, so you can study that transmission. I don't have enough space here, unfortunately. Okay, you should study this topic. Then voltage and frequency control. This is also important. This you can skip. Now this right, this you must study. New needed to add a topic that is economic load dispatch. This like uh, generally one question comes and the question is very very simple and it will not take you more than two three hours to study this topic. So you must study this economic load dispatch. Then comes the PSA two. So everything is important from the PSA two. Okay, everything is important. Now sequence impedance is important. Symmetrical fault analysis is important. This uh, symmet uh, unsymmetrical fault analysis is also important. Step like these these right. These topics I will give them three star. These are very very important. The stability load flow analysis I will give two star. Okay, two star. And switch gear I will give one star. Or you can skip that as well. Okay, switch gear you can skip. Okay. So inside this load flow analysis as well, mainly study the Y bus. Okay, Y bus. How to build the Y bus, right? Because in load flow analysis, Y bus is very very important. Y bus, Y bus portion, right? And stability, basically that uh, uh, equal area criterion that also you study that is very very important. Okay, and basically the order of the Jac Jacobian and Newton's Raphson method. So order of Jacobian, Jacobian 
okay and neurons are absent without these topics are very important so you can skip this switch and, and production but all the other topics right are very very important in psa1 also i have explained in psa1 mainly parameters and performance of long transmission line you focus on compensation techniques are very very easy voltage compensation and for other techniques like angle compensation all those things so you study this this is pretty easy you cover this voltage and frequency control you can skip okay next is measurement so inside measurement what you can do generally they don't ask like uh, for the past five six year, years they haven't asked any question from error analysis so you can skip it basics of in instrument uh indicator instruments you keep it at priority one then measurement of power and energy you keep it at priority two and then cro from cro also they are asking questions the ac uh, bridge and potentiometer you can skip and the instrument transformer also you can skip okay if, if you are crunch on time obviously so you can study these three topics at least these three topics you don't skip and what is the average weightage of this so generally measurement is a good weightage subject measurement right comes two marks to to four marks okay two marks to four marks so this was it about the most important topics for core electrical engineering so i hope you enjoyed the video and you can check out our courses on our website we have launched full course for gate 2026 from double e and ec you can avail that course uh, like currently discount code is running engineering 15 you can use that discount code and avail that and also in my power electronics course i am giving a massive discount because i have launched this course for the first time so under thousand you can get the power electronic course like which is trust me which is the best content available on youtube you can check out the playlist of power electronics from there you can judge whether how, how is the content and all those things right thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video until then happy learning